friends, and welcome back to Killer Hearts. My name is George, and if you're here watching this video, I bet you want to hear some interesting new sounds, right? I've got a few for you. Here it goes. It's a nice one. And what about this one? Ooh, angry. Even got a few things like this going on. So what's the secret special ingredient? Well, it's new stuff. New products, new plugins. Excited to introduce you to Shaper and Shaper Table, the two latest additions to the Killer Hearts ecosystem. Shaper here on the left is a free, relatively standard wave shaping distortion tool. And on the right here, Shaper Table, a new premium effect, which means it costs a little bit of money, is our development on the concept of wave shaping. It has a wave table of wave shapes to change your sound in fun ways. If you've got the Killer Hearts subscription, you've got these already. And if you have a Killer Hearts account at all, you'll already have Shaper in your installer, free of charge. But what is wave shaping all about? Well, let me tell you. You put a sound into this and the amplitudes of every single sample in your sound are remapped to new values based on this curve here. Right now, it's a straight line, a linear non-curve. It's just gonna give you zero to one coming in as it goes out, no change. But if we start to move these values around, add new points, create a crazy crackly graph, we will hear different things happen to the sound, most of them extreme and exciting. For example, let's listen to a nice smooth simple pad. I'll turn the mix all the way down so that we hear no change. This is just what the sound sounds like. And if I introduce some wave shaping, There we go, we've started to introduce some non-linearities, some distortion. And the exciting thing about this, and by the way, this curve editing stuff is new as well. The exciting thing is that you can make any curve you like, any shape that you like to reorganize the input and output values of your sound. So if we just want a gentle saturation, double click on a few of these, get rid of them, you can bring a curve in that looks kind of like this. right click to make them smooth. Now we're essentially just reducing the headroom. Zero to one is all squeezed into this small area. And if we want to further drive that, we can reduce the headroom here with the drive knob too. And then of course you can go as jaggedy and as noisy as you like. If you do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and mix it up with morning dew, that's all you have to do if you want to make your dreams come true. You can get something pretty wild. Who needs their eardrums, right? A couple of little details in this that make it a bit more sophisticated than a basic wave shaper. We've got mirror and symmetry modes whereby you can have one side of your edit mirror the other, either with a double flip, horizontal and vertical, or with just a horizontal flip, to achieve reliably different families of sounds. Mm, like those biscuit crumbs, lovely stuff. And if you want to get into serious detail, you can open up a larger curve editor with free drawing curve tools and stuff like that. Very good fun. So that's the basic long and short of the shaper. But what of the shaper table? Well, let me bring you now into a bass sound in Phase Plant where we're taking true advantage of the power of the system as a whole. We've got a square wave bass coming into a shaper table with a, a curve modulator driving the sound and a bit of an LFO movement through the frames of a wavetable. And what Shaper Table does that Shaper doesn't is it allows you to scan through multiple shapes. The actual shape that you're using to wave shape can change over time. So we can send in a heavily filtered square wave, for example. 
and get out some interesting high harmonics. It's pretty fun, right? You can have this sound responsive to the audio input. You can have it moving through the wave using an LFO or a random generator, all kinds of fun things. And of course you can use the wavetables that come with Shaper Table. There's a new library of Shaper Table wavetables, but you can also use all the other wavetables from the factory library. So let's just pick a crazy growly something and see if it sounds any different. I bet it will. Ooh, nice. It can get pretty extreme pretty quickly. And of course, a lot of you already know you can make your own wavetables using those free drawing tools or whatever, or by dropping in samples to convert to wavetables. Almost no end to the interesting sounds you can feed into this to make it do who knows what to your sound. And I really do find that that's the thing. You're looking for sweet spots and happy accidents. So one way of doing that is by moving the bias around so that you're moving the focus of the sound left and right along the axis of the wavetable frame. It's a lot of fun. You can use smoothing to just soften off some of the rough edges. If I take that all away, I bet we'll hear a much cracklier sound. There it is, that, that harsh rasping, that noise getting introduced. If you get too much folding and craziness going on, this can be basically just a really fun way to generate noise. But trying to keep it in the sweet spot is a lot of fun to do. It's a little balancing act. And then of course, like with Shaper, if you want to increase the amount of the wavetable that the sound is filling up, you can use the drive to reduce the headroom. And you'll see down here we have different overflow modes. The default one is called hold, where you get to the edges of the wavetable and you just hold over the final value. As you increase the drive, you sort of spill outside the edges. Uh, but you can also have repeat, which will copy and repeat the sound. so much fun. And mirror, which will give you a kind of uh, a back and forth. And it's honestly so unpredictable to me how these things are going to sound. But if you just isolate a few low harmonics of a bass sound with a filter and push them into shape a table, you can get all kinds of cool interactions going on over the top. And it can also be a lot of fun to stack that effect. So if we put another nonlinear filter after the shape a table, and send it into multi-pass, we can do multi-band wave shaping. I'm taking something different to the mid frequencies as to the highs here, and we are cutting out some of the shash and reintroducing new complexities over the top. It sounds like this. You just get these hot spots, it's such good fun. So what else can it do besides bass? It can make drums go really, really interesting. I've got a shaper which is being mixed in and out uh, with automation in the DAW. I've got a nice normal quite cool drum sound and then just when we feel like it wants a little tweak it just goes bananas with this improvised wave shape that I've thrown together. Let's just tweak it even more, make it even crunchier for the fun of it. really destructive stuff. And then if you wanted to, for example, use it as part of a chain of effects, I've got a, a reverb here going into a wave shaper and being modulated with the drive so that we get a kind of um, oscillating reverb tail on a sound that is relatively nice and twinkly without it. And that's the thing about the ecosystem is that with these tools you can combine them, you can throw them around, you can do something slightly wacky and then just take the edge off or you can drive it up to 11 and beyond, you know? So that's the exciting news today, that's the big skinny. It's a new way to hunt for exciting sounds.
And like I say, if you're a Killer Hearts subscriber, you already have these things. And if you aren't, maybe you want to consider it. Go to killerhearts.com and check out the options. And once you start building these things into your face plant patches, your multi-pass setups, your snap heap effects chains, you're going to wonder how you ever got on without them. Seriously, they're such fun. They're even good on the human voice. If you just want a subtle little hit. And if you, well, this is getting a bit too much. Maybe I should finish off before it gets too crazy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.